Uh, in this video, we're going to create a, uh, a phenolic resin top uh, using the materials we defined in the earlier videos. Just kind of show you how this whole thing ties together. I'm going to go to uh, Miller Cat Panels. I'm going to select the panel here. Move this down. Uh, this is take a 60 inch by 24 inch high, inch and a half thick panel. Uh, what I want to do here is make sure the layer name is correct. So I'm going to say shape underscore uh, diamond, which is a uh, strategy I defined in the tool strategies. This is critical to make it do what you want to do because we defined a shape underscore diamond as an outside half inch diamond cutter that's going to come in and cut this thing. It's going to do it in two passes. It's going to do everything we want. We just got to get the right name. So this is critical here. Uh, I'm going to just do a little preview here, and this is our top, and I'm going to insert this. So there's our, uh, let me close this off because I'm done. Here's our 24 inch wide, 24 inch in depth, 60 inches wide. Okay, I'm going to go to my tools here. We're going to take uh, the router tool. I'm going to, when I select the router tool, if you'll watch, it gives me a prompt to select the side I want to reference the line from. So I'm going to select this line here. I'm going to go down. I have one called sink cutout. Okay, so in this sink cutout, uh, we can do a, a lot of different things. I made, I made my length 18 inches by 16. Uh, this is a, uh, if I want different views, like if I go to a preview here, or let's say a slot, see, I'm going to get different results out of those numbers. But what I want is a fixed length sink. Okay, so I'm going to preview that. That's really what I want to have happen right there. Uh, then down here I've defined from corner one or corner two. I want it 30 inches to the center of this. And then I want it 12 inches from the center down because it's a 24 inch top here, depth. So that's going to center this sink cut out directly in the center of this. That's what I want to have happen. So I'm going to save this information to the database uh, and then what was crucial is on the layer name which I'd already set up I have a female underscore diamond that's going to tell it to use that half inch diamond cutter to cut out the inside of this uh, sink for me so I'm going to insert this uh, I'm going to rotate it and this just depends on the top machine you have I'm going to rotate it to fit this uh, machine so that the uh, Y is the long axis and the X is the short axis. So I've got that rotated for you. Now if we go into router cam, G code, select the OK button here. I'm told to display the code. Let's see if we get the results, the results that we wanted. Uh, we'll zoom in here. And here's our female. This is our lead in and lead out. Cutting the inside of the line. That's what it's showing you here. Uh, it's a female uh, cut, diamond cut. That's gonna, the first thing it's going to do is cut out the sinkhole. Uh, then what it's going to do, it's going to come in with the, uh, it's going to turn the spindle off. It's going to uh, take the uh, half inch diamond tool out of position number eight, tool slot number eight. This is uh, tool slot number eight as well. And it's going to take the uh, the same half inch cutter and it's going to cut out the outside of this top. So if you tie all those things together that we did in the last uh, three or four little videos, uh, basically if you define your material, define your tool, uh, define your tool strategies, and then when you create your part, if you create on the correct layers, uh, that will pretty much ensure you're getting the results you're looking for. Uh, thank you for your time. I'm watching the videos.